Now, back to our other top story. The Husker volleyball team is in Kansas City. Yeah, this morning they had a 90-minute practice at the Sprint Center there. They also held their media day. Uh, Channel 8 Eyewitness News Sports Director Brett Edwards is live from Kansas City. Brett. Hello from the Sprint Center in downtown Kansas City, the site of this year's NCAA Volleyball Tournament Final Four. All four teams held open practices to the public here today and spoke with the media. Nebraska was loose during its workout. The Huskers enter the Final Four riding a 17-match win streak. The Huskers are in the national semifinals for the third straight year. That's the first time that's happened in program history. It's awesome and I'm, you know, I'm just so proud of our team and our new staff and all that we've worked through this year to get to this point um, and the fact that it is historic. You know, no, no Nebraska team's ever done that. One thing Coach always tells us is to dream big and um, I think we say it all the time and sometimes it's a joke but um, I think that's real and I think like with our class that came in and Kelly before us and the girls ever since, I think we've all come in and we really do dream big and we dream of these big spotlight moments and the Final Four and we dream of playing in the national championship game every year and so um, we work hard for this and we train in a championship environment and so I think we made it reality um, the last few years. Four Huskers received AVCA All-American honors today, led by Kelly Hunter, who was named first team. Michaela Fecky and Annika Albright were named second team. And Brianna Holman was named honorable mention. We'll have more on the Huskers' recent success versus Penn State coming up in sports at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live from the Sprint Center in Kansas City, Brett Edwards, Channel 8 Eyewitness News Sports. Thank you very much, Brett. And we would like to mention that our Husker Volleyball reports tonight at 6 and 10 o'clock are sponsored by Madonna Rehabilitation Hospitals.